Welcome to episode 25 of Cowboy Bebop. Last time, Ed, Ein, and Faye all left, and we're left just with Jet, Spike, and some eggs, although those are probably all gone too. So we're on to the last couple episodes of the show. We'll see how it all wraps up. We're going to watch the episode and discuss it. I have the subtitles and the timer on screen if you want to follow along, or you can pull off the episode on your own. But either way, let's watch episode 25. In three, two, one. It's called The Real Folk Blues Part 1. So we have our last little two-parter here to end things off. And we shall see what happens. Hopefully Faye comes back. We'll see about Ed and I and what they get up to. And of course everything with Spike and Jet. But while the OP is playing, let me say that if you enjoy these videos, subscribe to the channel. Cowboy Bebop is every Friday. Not for too much longer, but we also got other videos every single day of the week. Also check the description down below. There's links to Twitter and Discord if you want to come hang out and Patreon. If you want to support the channel, get videos a week early or even earlier than that. Polls, vlogs, and all that stuff. Thank you very much. So, yeah. The Real Folk Blues. We'll see how it plays out. Vicious, Julia. When was the last time we saw Vicious? Was it Jupiter Jazz? Which was like 13? Huh. He's certainly not in the show very much. But it still left quite an impression. All right, here we go. Starting off with the music straight away. A rainy setting. And it's Julia. They recently revealed the person playing her in the live action thing. She's not blonde. Don't know if she will be for the show diet or whatever, but uh, it's not really relevant. It doesn't matter that much. Hello. It's the Shinsengumi. Alright, Vicious is now on the move. Good job, guys. You got it. Those curtains will never bother you again. Hello. All right, Wrinkles. They look exactly the same. Yeah, they said that before, I believe. He does not seem very amused. Just do it. Just straight up kill me. Like, we're not going to grant you what you want. What, a, what kind of punishment is done in the chamber? Alright, what's his plan here? All right. Mm. 
All right, so he's not in a great position right now, but I'm sure he's got something going on behind the scenes. He's got a plan. And you guys are all by yourself again. Don't forget animals. Got some guys outside, though. Oh, oh, the poor, poor bartender guy! Oh, man! Neither one of them could have just done him a courtesy and said, Duck? That poor guy! He just got fucking destroyed. Couldn't, yeah, couldn't help him out, but uh, we'll take the drink from his hand. All right. A lot of gunfire in this episode already. A lot of dudes getting taken out. Shit. Reminded of Lin. Lin. Oh, okay. It's actually his younger brother. Hey, he's helping him out. That's good. I was a little worried when he started running up to him. I was like, Spike, you gotta do something. Mm-hmm. Said that name. Shit. Well, thanks, dude. Thank you, character that I didn't know existed. I'm glad you showed up and saved the day. Had, did they mention a brother before? I do not remember it. Lynn was not around very long. You know. Bruce Lee? So Jet's been shot in the leg. He might have to sit this one out. Well, especially vicious. <laughs> Regardless of context. But... Yeah, of course. No big deal. You can't just let her go. They did. She just said she can't. She didn't want to do it. Now we have her and Vicious. That would be the plan. Okay. Rift it up.
Here we have the punishment chamber then. His position's not looking that great right now, but he's got to have something else in mind. And Faye, all right. What's up with this woman? Well, someone's here to get you. Just watching a family, watching these people can help each other and need each other. Wait, was that the female co-host? Was that the guy? Is that the Big Shots guy? Mm-hmm. You should. Yeah, them. Your place to go back to is the Bebop. They're not there. You told Ed. She had a place where she belonged, too. Oh, hi. Well, you're wrapped up in it now. Watch out. <laughs> Just standing out in the open like that. Good shot, though. All right. And now, well, all right, phase with Julia. Got wrapped up in it whether you wanted to or not. They've got some uh, heavier firepower. She's... she's very good. <laughs> oh my god. Very. Uh, some small ones. Oh, if only the two of you knew. Is she gonna tell her her name? Then she'd be like, wait a minute. I've heard that. Well, you have one right here. But no, she's looking for a specific bounty hunter. And yours? Of course, it is a common name, so... I don't know, Faye had heard the name before, right, I think? Even if so, you know, just someone named Julia, you wouldn't think. Must be that one. Oh shit, she knew about her connection to Spike. Alright, the graveyard. It's like, oh shit, you're that woman. Okay, bye.
she knows. Poor Jet had to get shot in the leg so that Spike could be front and stage by himself for these last few episodes. Probably. I've never heard this story. All right. All right, and why do you hate it? Not just men. I don't think he will. Yeah, that's kind of a big part of this whole show, and I just don't think he can do that. Very serious words, and now we have Faye returning with news of this woman. <laughs> that one. Apparently not. Fluffy hair. The news about Vicious and all the shit going down there. What happened? Alright, kind of just going over all that. Everything he already experienced, already knows. Yeah, of course. So how does he get out of this? Got an important message for you. She'll probably, I'm sure she'll deliver it, right? Just thinking about just walking away there. Nice. You should know that. True. He's not that mobile, but he can still contribute. Are you going to tell him? There you go. And he'll know what that means. There you go. Yeah, you, you should have mentioned that first, not just she said. He'll know where that where is.
So how does he get out of this? He has to, right? She's at the graveyard. Spike is in a space battle. They're preparing to execute right now. That's the most part, the part I'm most interested in. I'm like, yeah, Spike's probably gonna get out of this. But I'm like, how the, what the fuck is Vicious gonna do? Smile. His, okay. His bird exploded, and then he's just got some dudes on the inside to help him out. I was like, what's the, what's the bird for, buddy? Why do you have to have the bird? There you go. Long-term plan. It's all for this moment, so I can blow the bird up. Oh, shit. Ow. Well, shit, that uh, worked out pretty well for him. Seems that way. That was a fast turnaround. How long will she wait there? Well, here he is. Reunion after all this time, and a gun! Okay, um... Good, nice to see you too. Well then, I don't know where that's gonna go, but let's discuss this episode. Alright, episode 25, we have a two-parter to end off the show here, and this is... Part one, building up to the finale, we finally get to see Julia being active in the present, see a little bit more Vicious and everything, and it's uh, wrapping up in a pretty interesting way. I'm excited to see how it ends next time, but with this one, no sign of Ed or Ayn, but we do have Faye coming back, which I was very hopeful for, definitely wanted to see some more of her, but Vicious was one of the most interesting things in this episode for me. Just there was a lot of tension as to how he was going to get out of this, what his plan was through his, this whole thing. He has been in the show fairly little overall, like I was saying at the beginning of the reaction. I think Jupiter Jazz was the last time we saw him, but he's got a pretty strong presence despite that. Just with the strength of the design or just how much his history ties in with spikes and how important that all is to spike and how he's so caught up in his past vicious still sticks in your memory despite being in it fairly little and then you know julia we, we barely know at all but just him being reunited with her we understand how important she is to him anyway but with vicious going through this whole thing uh, the coup failing and being thrown in this punishment chamber and going to be executed this whole time i'm just wondering how was he gonna get out of this like i had this small thing like is there a small possibility in the back of my mind that he actually does just die like this 
and it's gonna be really unexpected, but I'm like, no, no, no. How does he get out of this? And I, I was genuinely really curious. Spike is going through a, a fun space battle at the end, which was entertaining to watch, but I'm like, okay, Spike's probably gonna get out of that okay. How the hell is Vicious gonna do this? And then it, it works out for him with the exploding bird and his people just taking these guys out and him taking control of the syndicate. And that was that was very interesting to watch. Julia is confronted with Spike at the end, and we get more of the flashbacks of, of him wanting to, to run away, going into this firefight that we've seen in flashbacks many times, and hoping that they would think he died, which they did. Julia being told to go finish him off, and clearly not, clearly not being willing to do that. We have Faye coming back to the Bebop after meeting with Julia. It's a I don't know how coincidental it really is. She knew who Faye was, I guess, just from various information that she had gained, hearing that sh this woman Faye was traveling with Spike. Uh, I don't know if she was there on purpose. I don't think she tracked down Faye on purpose. I feel like it's a coincidence that they were in the same area, but either way, it was cool to see the two of them together and listen to their conversation with each other. I kind of would have liked Faye to, or I guess how I was imagining it would be just her to come into the realization that she did have a home and people who cared for her and a place she could go on to and a place that she could move on to and that would be the Bebop with Jet and Spike and everybody. She didn't even know that Ed and I left. But the way it happens is that she goes back because of Julia's message, but you know, I'm hoping she'll still have that realization anyway and she almost didn't even deliver the message to spike so she probably realized that it could be something that could get him into a lot of trouble and it seemed like she uh she didn't want that to happen like hey let's just i'm back here let's leave it at that let's not do tell him this which could get him running off to go get killed like she clearly cares jet getting shot being kind of taken out of action because of that trying to get spike to just not do it. Not do what you know he's gonna do when he hears the name Julia and Vicious trying to move on from his past which he just can't seem to let go of. Firefight! There's a lot of people getting taken down in this uh, in this episode. A lot of firefights, a lot of people getting shot. That poor bartender just standing there doing his job, they duck out of the way and he just gets massacred. Poor guy. Is a little... is a little lame that they got saved by some guy who we didn't even know existed. Just like, oh, that guy, Lin, he had another brother that we didn't know about. So here he is now, and he's here to help Spike. It's fine. That's not a huge deal. It was a pretty small scene, but uh, we'll see how he plays into the finale. We also had the scene with Faye and the guy from Big Shots, which was pretty funny. Or uh, what's it? Is, it? is that the name of the bounty show? But that's just a nice scene where you're just seeing Faye watching these family members who love each other and need each other and you know, give each other a place to belong, kind of echoing what she needs. But also it's it's Alfred from the show, which I didn't even I didn't even realize at first until she said your female co-host and I was like, wait a minute. What are they talking about? Oh man, was that that guy? And yeah, it was. I, I just didn't think that he would show up, so that's kind of cool. We get a little update on how they're doing. He's going to be taking care of his mom. He's looking for a new job, or he got a new job. She's going to be getting married, so they're okay despite their show's cancellation. That was a really cool small little moment. So I'm excited to see how it all ends up next time. You know, Spike just had to do this. He had to get back involved with Julia again. Vicious now having the control that he does and the power that he does. How are they going to go against him? You know, she raises her gun to him at the end, but I cannot imagine that anything is going to come of that. Hopefully they'll be okay together. But, you know, Spike just could not let go of the past. He had that story that Jet told, and he just he begged him, try to move forward and not get stuck. I like what he said, Al. You die when you're dying and you're looking in the past. It's like you're trying to affirm that you had a, a reason to live, like that there was some point to your life and you're just looking through everything that you've been through. But we'll see what happens if Spike can, can move forward with this woman that he described as being so amazing and so important to him. We've got the finale next time. Let me know what you thought of this first part. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Check out all the links down in the description below. Appreciate it all and I will see you guys next time.